All right, you guys, I'm back here bringing you another video. Oh my God, what a, such an awesome and amazing day it is here in Georgia. I hope that wherever you are going to be tuning in from, I hope that your day was awesome and amazing. So good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Again, depending upon when you view this video, um, you know, it would just depend on where you are. <laughs> and so I also want to take this opportunity to give a huge, huge shout out to all of my replay viewers. This is not a live video. Um, I'm not doing a live video today. This is actually going to be a pre-recorded video. So I won't be able to interact with you guys during the duration of it. But please, please, please leave your comments, leave your questions. Um, definitely leave them in the comment section below of the video, or you guys can come on over to my website and shoot me an email, and that is www.valenciaholland.com. So, before I get started, let me introduce myself to those of you who are actually joining, you know, coming to my page if you're seeing this on Facebook, if you are seeing this on Instagram, or if you are receiving this, um, via email. Let me take this opportunity to introduce myself. My name is Valencia Holland. I own and operate a personal styling and image consulting firm. We are based out of Atlanta, Georgia, but work virtually with people all over the world. And so what we do is we encourage, we educate, and we empower women to help them take control of their style. Now you may be sitting back saying, well, hmm, you know, how can somebody help me take control of my style? Well, first of all, <clears throat> you would absolutely know if your style was just out of pocket. Let's just say it like that. Like being referring to it being out of pocket means that you have no idea how to dress. You have no idea where to shop. You do not like to shop and you really don't even like to keep up with today's fashion and today's style. And so what happens is, is women contact us on the daily basis and we help them take control over it, which means that we help them get into a place of personalized and individual style that's tailored to them, tailored to their lifestyle, tailored to their age, tailored to their hobbies, tailored to their body type. And there's just a bunch of other things that go along with, excuse me, um, the process of really getting someone overall more comfortable with their image, right? With the way that they dress, because again, they don't, they don't care, but they know that the current state of their wardrobe, it, it doesn't make them feel good. You know what I mean? They know that they don't look as good as they could, you know, their self-esteem and is not really where it should be. Right. So all of these things contribute to that. So that is pretty much uh, what we do, um, we shop, we bring the mall to our clients. Our clients don't need to go to the mall. We do all of that stuff. And we really help you get completely uh, out of the rut <laughs> of like, okay, so where do I fit in with all of this fashion and style and all of that? Like, you know, Valencia, I want to look good. I want to feel good about myself, but I just really have no idea where to start and, you know, it's just not my forte. You know, a lot of people really feel some type of way about themselves because they have no idea. A lot of people that contact me are like, you know, I'm just not fashion savvy. And I'm like, OK, cool. You know, everyone doesn't wake up with that. Everyone doesn't have that about themselves that they can be able to differentiate what clothing goes with what, you know, what things are going to accentuate their body at the end of the day what things are going to make them look good right let's just be honest let's just be real you know they're buying the same things over and over again uh things that they've worn 10 years ago 15 years ago 20 years ago a lot of people are still stuck in like a time capsule or something and they're still dressing the way that they did in the 80s and the 90s and it's like uh you know it's the millennium it's 2018 and you know regardless of your age you can definitely 
have style. You could definitely, you know, have your own individual swag and there's really nothing wrong with that. You know, style is for everyone. That's one thing about having your own individual or personal style is that it is indiv it's individualized. It's tailored to you. It's not tailored to any other woman. And so just wanted to take an opportunity to introduce myself. Um, so that's who I am. And today I'm going to be coming to you guys talking about, you know, what haven't you worn? What haven't you worn, right? Because we do a lot of uh, closet audits and closet organizations. It's actually one of the things that are, is a part of uh, the intake process when you become one of our clients. We also do do them um, just because people don't have time to clean and organize their closet and they're definitely looking for more efficient mornings. You know, they're sick and tired of going into their closet and everything is all over the place. It's unorganized. They don't know where things are. So it's just making their mornings very hectic, right? And what I've come to realize over the years is like people have more clothing that they do not wear. Right. So their closet is full. Their dresser drawers are full. They even may take up space in other rooms, in other closets, in other parts of the home <laughs> that are not even their bedroom. They may have clothes in other parts of the house, in the basement, you know, in the attic. I mean, just stored under the bed. I mean, it's absolutely ridiculous, right? And then when we come in and we start pulling things out and we're sorting through things and we're going through things, you know, clients are sitting back looking like, I didn't even know I had that. Like, I, I completely forgot that I had that. You know, I haven't worn that since, you know, Timmy was five years old and Timmy, Timmy is now 25 years old, right? <laughs> so it's like, what haven't you worn? Just think about that for a second. Just think about that. What haven't you worn? I, I bet you you don't even know. You have a closet full of clothes and clothes all over the place. But it's so overwhelming to even think about. Like, what haven't I worn? Like, whew. Because a lot of you don't even know what you own. Because... You're not organized. I can guarantee you right now that I can come into your home and trust me, your clothes are not organized. Your clothes are not color coordinated. They are not garment specific, meaning that all of your blouses are in one spot. All of your uh, blazers are in one spot. All of your jackets are in one spot. All of your scarves are in one spot. All of your denim is in one spot. All of your dresses. I can put money on it that you're not organized. So therefore, that's how I know that you don't even know what you own and you definitely don't even know what you have not worn, right? So did you know that? Like, you know, I think a lot of people have, have this thing in their head that, oh my gosh, you know, because I have so much clothes or because my closet is just busting at the seams and, you know, I just, my dresser drawers are just full that that is a wardrobe that's beneficial to them. And that is completely false. You know, did you know that the most expensive clothes are the ones you don't wear? I'm going to say it again. The most expensive clothes are the ones that you do not wear. Not the ones that you buy, but the ones that you do not wear. Did you know that? Because here's why. What happens is it takes up room and it takes up space, right? So you just have this visual and it just gives you some type of feeling that says, oh, I got clothes. Oh, I got, you know, I, my, my closet, I, I have all these things. But at the same time, when you really get down to the get down and you are looking at these things, how often have you worn them? You know, whatever you spent on the clothing, have you received your return on wear? You know what I'm saying? Your ROW. Some people are familiar with return on investment, ROI. But in my world, I like to call it ROW. Your return on wear. Have you received your return on wear? The investment that you spent on these clothing, have you received your wear's worth? Have you received it? Probably not. You probably got stuff on tax. Uh, Stuff still got tags on it, haven't even ever been worn. You may have worn something one time, you know, it's probably stuffed in the back of the closet. Again, you don't even know what's back there. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 
So again, the most expensive clothes that you have are the ones that are just chilling, chilling in your wardrobe. You know what I'm saying? And it does not make any sense to me because a lot of us want to have that fulfill, that feeling of feeling like, well, I have clothes because you're afraid that when your wardrobe comes down to nothing or appears to be nothing, then you feel like you have nothing to wear. But here's the thing. A lot of people have a lot of clothes and nothing to wear. So regardless if your closet is packed to the brim or has very minimal things, you need to make sure that it's beneficial to you. So listen, I am not the one to say don't have a lot of clothes, don't have a lot of shoes, don't have a lot of accessories, pocketbooks, whatever the case may be. But I am here to tell you that it's important for you to have those things and make sure that you are wearing them. Do not just have your closet busting out of the seams and you still feel like, oh, I have, oh my God, I... Ooh, you're in the morning, you're like, oh man, I don't know what I'm gonna wear to work today. Or, oh, you know, that guy asked me out and I don't I don't have nothing to wear. Or, you know, they're having a um, you know, a company gathering and I don't know what I'm gonna do. Versus someone who may have less clothing than you, but they know what they can go in their closet and pull out an outfit for work. They can go in that closet and pull out an outfit for date night. They can go in that closet and pull out an outfit to go to their company's gathering. You know what I'm saying? So you have to make sure that whatever side of the fence you fall on, if you have a closet busting at the seams, make sure you're wearing that stuff. And if you don't have a closet busting at the seams, it's all good. Just make sure whatever you do have, make sure whatever you do have that you're wearing, right? I find that when we work with clients and we minimize their wardrobe, we maximize it at the same time. And we do that because we're taking away, we're shedding away all the junk, all the garbage, things they ain't worn in years, things they can't even fit, right? Things that don't even have any type of relation to their lifestyle, to their hobbies, things that are not age appropriate, right? Things that don't even look good on their body type, but they brought it because it was in their size. Ooh, that's another video. And, you know, just... Just things that it's like, why do you even have this? This doesn't even make any sense. But when we minimize, we actually maximize the wardrobe because now they may have went from having a whole bunch of stuff to a minimal wardrobe. But guess what? That minimal wardrobe is so powerful because it has everything that they need. They are definitely going to get their return on wear and they're going to have some money in their pocket and they're going to be able to walk in their closet and not feel overwhelmed and feel like, okay, I don't know where things are at and I don't know, you know, what I have and what I don't have and, you know, I can't figure this outfit thing out because everything that they own is what they need. Everything that they own, they are going to wear. Why? Because it fits their lifestyle, because it fits their hobbies, because it's age appropriate, because it fits their body type and it makes their body look bomb, right? So don't ever be afraid to minimize your wardrobe because guess what you are doing at the same time? You're actually maximizing it. You people... Whatever it is, I don't know if it's society that just has us wanting more, 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 more. You know, I don't know if that's what it is, but no, nah, 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 nah. We, we don't have to do that, right? You guys like my glasses? <sighs> yes, they are my fave, 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 fave. My really good friend owns a accessory line and it's called Everything Lux Brand. So you can search her on IG. I don't know if she's on Facebook, but I love her stuff. Oh, she has like the best. I have like, I can't wait to go back home to re-up on my stuff. But she does shit, so you don't have to be uh, where she's from to get them. But I just I just couldn't help myself. I, I just think that you could have one, just the most kind of plainest little outfit or whatever. And just like these glasses just really pop. I get a lot of compliments on them. They are definitely a conversation starter. And I just love them so much. So, <laughs> sorry. Um... So, you know, one of the things that when we take you from the maximum to the minimum, right, it's about investing and making sure that you're investing in pieces 
that are going to do you and do your image and do your wardrobe some good. That's the bottom line. It's all about where you're investing your money. I always talk about that. You know, whether if you follow me on social media and you see my posts or if you're a part of my style community and you get my newsletters, even in the videos, I'm always talking about investing, investing in your wardrobe. Here's the thing. I was on um, a fellow, I was on this hairstylist uh, social media page the other night and she had a meme and it said, you know, invest in your hair because you wear it every day. And you know what? I can't wait to get lighting and get all this stuff because... You know, it's the truth. You wear your hair every single day. You cannot hide it. You know what I'm saying? It, it's. I mean, you could wear a hat, but at the same time, there's really no way to hide it. That's why you invest. That's why I make sure I get my hair washed, conditioned, get my ends trimmed. You know what I'm saying? Take care of it because it's my. It's like a helmet. You can't. There's nothing. I can't get out of it. I can't get under it. I can't. It is here, right? Same thing with your clothes. I'm gonna stand up. I can't go out of the house naked. I, I I mean, what you have to put clothes on. Oh, if you guys didn't know, she in Prego. <laughs> you have you you have to, and it immediately struck me like invest in your clothes because you can't go outside naked, right? The same way you have to invest in your hair because you wear it every day. Invest in your clothes because guess what? You can't go out the house naked. And guess what? You need to wear them every day. I don't believe in, oh, this is a one-time wear. What the heck? What is a one-time wear? That's a waste of money. You need to make sure that you are buying things that you could wear multiple times. I don't want to hear nothing about, oh, well, I posted that on Facebook and I can't wear it again. Then you shouldn't even, you should, you should have never bought it then. <laughs> You should have invested in something that could be mixed and matched and remixed into your wardrobe multiple times and people don't even know. They can't even tell. You know what I'm saying? Those are those staple items. And if you want to know more about that, you could check the video uh, prior to this one because I talked all about that in that video. So the first thing is making sure you're investing, right? Making sure you're investing in your clothes and buying the right things. Next, people say, oh, Valencia, you know, it's just so many clothes and I just don't want to get rid of it. And oh, my God, I spent money and all my. Well, what difference does it make? You are the money is spent. The money is spent, honey. <laughs> you spent that money a year ago, a couple years ago. You know, so the money is already gone. So you need to get that out of your mind. But here's the trick with that. Sell it. Sell the clothes. You know what I'm saying? Have a tag sale. Have a yard sale. Post it on Etsy. Post it on Craigslist. You know what I'm saying? If your church is having, um, you know, a, 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 a yard sale or something like that, bring them down to your church and, and sell them. You know, like I said, just go ahead and sell it. Even if you're, you're not going to get the full price for it, right? But sell it. They got so many different apps and things, too, that, um, let me see if I can find that one particular app that they have that you can, um, you sell it. And then you know what? At least you get some type of money back and it kind of soothes you a little bit to make you feel like, okay, well, at least I got something back, right? Something you can, you can do. And then that money can go towards new clothing. If you need new clothing, right? Donate it then. If you feel like, you know, Valencia, I'm just not that type of person. It's not that serious. I'm not about to sit up here and try to sell this stuff because you know what? It is, it's already a loss. It's pretty much a loss at this point. So, you know, I'm going to just give it away. So give it away, right? Give the clothes away. Donate them to the less fortunate. That way you feel like, okay, you know what? I may have spent the money, but now I'm going to give it to someone else that's in need because clearly I'm not going to wear it. Clearly it does not work for me. So let it work for somebody else who is in a less fortunate position than I am. And then guess what? That can soothe your heart as well. For those of you that feel like, you know, you don't want to waste it. So I'm just searching here real quick to see if I can find, they got all kinds of stuff, you guys. They got let go, they got thread up, um, they got Mercari, 
Depot is a very popular one. I'm very familiar with Depot. They got Vinted USA. I already mentioned uh, Etsy, eBay. I mean, people are reselling clothes like it's nothing. So again, if you are just not comfortable with, you know, saying, oh, I've spent money, sell it. But if you are someone who feels like, no, I don't want to do that, donate it. Donate it to your church. Donate it to Goodwill. Donate it to the Salvation Army. Uh, donate it to someone in your family or, you know, your friends or whatever the case may be. So that way, you, again, you don't feel bad. Either way, you don't feel bad about getting rid of the clothes. But the bottom line is, if you have not worn it in a year, my rule of thumb is one year. And these are for clothing that are like in good condition. Uh, you know, they don't have any stains. They don't need any repairs. Uh, you know, they may have tags on them. And it's, if it's been a year, give it away. Give it away. Sell it. Get rid of it, right? If there's other things, things that need repairs, then it would just depend on what the repair was. And it will also depend on if the clothing piece was something that was for you. So if it needs a repair and it's not something that you're going to wear, then you need to, um, you need to throw it away. Or you could invest the money and get it fixed and then donate or sell it. It's, I mean, it's whatever floats your boat. If it's something that has a stain, a rip, that's common sense. Just throw it in the garbage, right? Once you do this, now you're going to make room for the things that you need. Or you may possibly already have what you need. You may not need to even shop once you do this. You know what I'm saying? It's okay for your closet. Again, it is okay. I promise you guys, it's okay for your closet to not be packed to the brim. I promise you. I would love, matter of fact, I'm going to do a closet video for you guys. Um, and I'm going to show you because I, like I said, I've mentioned before, I'm new to Georgia. I've been here now for, let's see, about to be eight months, right? And one of the things that I like to do, and you can take this too, if you're ever moving somewhere, you don't even have to be moving out of state. You could just be moving from one house to another house or whatever the case may be. That's a perfect opportunity for you to purge and to clean out. So before we moved here, guess what I did? I went through my wardrobe. I'm pulling out things that I haven't worn, pulling out things that I know I'm not going to wear, especially with me coming to a different environment, going from the northeast to the southeast, you know, the temperature, the weather and everything is a lot different. So a lot of my heavy jackets and coats and things like that that I would need back home in Connecticut because it's cold and it's snowing, a lot of that stuff I left there in Connecticut. The only reason why I left there is because I go home to visit. So obviously I'm going to need it while I am there. But best believe if I had, if, if I wasn't going back home for anything, I probably would have given it away or sold it, right? So that's a perfect opportunity. I went through everything. And what seems to be a very small wardrobe is actually works for me. <laughs> like, I don't really have to buy anything. The only reason why I'm buying things now at this point is because I'm pregnant. And I'm not even buying things rapidly because I'm, I'm going by what my body does. The only thing I've brought is a few pairs of sweatpants. I brought three pairs of sweatpants. Uh, three different solid colors. So I got a gray pair. I got a black pair. And I have a navy pair. Oh, and I also have a burgundy pair. Because I can continue to wear those. They're like jog jogger pants. And I also invested in two pairs of maternity jeans, right? So it's like I'm not even really shopping a lot right now because, again, I have to go at the pace of my body. And even when I brought tops, maternity tops, I brought them same thing. Uh, white, cream, black, gray, very solid colors because I just, investing in my wardrobe right now does not make sense because I'm not going to be pregnant forever. So that's the thing. But when I tell you that all of the other clothes, it's like, okay, they work. I don't really need to go out and buy a lot of stuff. But to the naked eye, they're going to say, ooh, you don't even have a lot of clothes. But it's but that's the thing. I have what I need. I have what works for me. And I'm getting my maximum amount. So don't let that whole thing of your closet being packed to the brim, you know, make you feel like, whew. When I don't have anything in there, it's like crickets in here. You feeling like, oh my God, like I don't have nothing to wear. So, you know, just because it appears empty, 
it doesn't mean that you don't have what works for you. So I really want to, you know, encourage you with that. And another thing too, depending on your life, and I keep saying this, depending on your lifestyle, depending on your body type, depending on your hobbies, all of these things determine how much you need of something, right? And the reason I say that is because I'll give you an example. You, you personally, you may need more shoes than me. Why? Because your midsection, right? The body type is called the apple, but I'll just say that it just means that the um, woman's midsection is much more fuller than the other portions of her body, right? So that's where her body is proportioned the most is it's the midsection. So what happens is if you are considered an apple shape or your midsection, <coughs> excuse me, is very full as well as your breast too, that means that you want to trick the eye to look downward and look at your feet. So what would you buy? You will have a lot of shoes. And I'm talking about not just your average shoes. I'm talking about your nice, stylish, funky, you know what I'm saying? Make people stop and look down and say, oh, I like your shoes. You know, where you get your shoes from? Because you're taking away the attention from that midsection area, right? And wearing, you're pretty much accessorizing your feet because that is what is going to proportion out your body type. Whereas if it, we're talking about me, I may need more jackets, more tops, more necklaces, earrings, glasses, hats, things like that, that are going to accentuate the upper portion of my body because my body type is considered to be a pear, meaning that I'm very small on the top and then I come out like a pear, meaning that my hips are wide and my backside, you know what I'm saying, all of that kind of swings around. So what I have to do in order to even out my body proportion is I have to bulk up the top part, meaning that during the colder seasons, I can wear, I can layer up, right? I can wear a blazer, a shirt, a nice necklace, right? But then in the summer or the cooler, um, excuse me, the hotter season, I just have to bring a lot of drama up here, right? So a lot of florals, a lot of color, you know, nice chunky necklaces, earrings, you know, things like that that are going to keep people's eye upward so that they're not focused on that part down at the bottom. That's what evens out my body. So I may have more tops. Like I said, I may own more tops than you, more jackets, more blazers, more uh, accessories as far as necklaces and things like that, where you may not need a lot of tops and jackets. Because what is that going to do for you? That's just going to make the appearance of the part of your body that we are trying to conceal. Be like, woo, here I am. Like, boom, you can see my chest. You can see my midsection. When no, what you may need to own more in your wardrobe is shoes. So again, that's a thing to think about too, that it, everything depends on you individually. You know, this is why I always tell people, and even on my frequently asked questions on the website, a lot of people want to know, um, will I dress you like me or my clients? Absolutely not, because we are two different people with the rip off the rip. Even if we have the same body type, we're still two different people because guess what? My lifestyle as an entrepreneur may be different than your lifestyle as a corporate nine to fiver. So I could sit up here today and have on a graphic tee and have on some jogging pants and have on, you know, so, like that's, it's different for me versus where you at your corporate office, there's a dress code that you have to abide by. But with me, I have more leisure because of my industry, because, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm my own boss and I can do and wear what I want to do. So there's so many things that go into, excuse me, us as individuals that it's really impossible for us to dress alike. When I, that's why when I see people on social media and see people online and they look the same, I'm just like, I don't even understand that. There's just you, you're just copying off what someone else is wearing for no reason because you're lost because you have no idea what works for you and just because someone else has it on it doesn't mean that it does wonders for you because to me I'm just looking at you like well you don't know who you are because you're not even dressing how you should dress like whatever that girl is wearing that has nothing to do with you and your lifestyle 
Let's not even get into the age appropriateness, right? That doesn't even show your personality. You may have like this awesome, amazing personality, but you know, you like what she had on, but she's playing it safe type of thing. You know, let's not even get into just the color analysis of it all too. There are, you know, people don't understand that color is a huge deal. Oh my God, color will just do wonders. Sometimes all it takes is just to not wear a certain color. And sometimes all it takes is to wear a certain color and it will make you look like boom. You know what I mean? They're just basic things that, you know, uh, that are there that make us, that will automatically have us different. Well, it is never the same, right? And so that's just an example of, you know, what you'll need. Again, what I have in my closet, you, you, you don't need. And even some of the things that I do have, for I'll give you another example, a blazer. Let's just use a blazer. For me, referring back to my body type, right? I have to even, okay, even a t-shirt, because I have a t-shirt on. You see how my t-shirt is cowl neck, so it's circle neck. I have no business wearing a V-neck. That does not do anything for me. That does not accentuate my body type. That does not make me look good at all. But to the naked eye, they're just thinking, well, what the heck, Valencia? It's just a t-shirt. Like, why the heck? It shouldn't even matter. It matters, guys. Those very small details that it matters. Trust me. So the same thing with my jackets. They, sh they should be cowl. They should be cowl, right? They shouldn't be any, oh, excuse me, any other way. Whereas you may need, so we could need the same thing. We could both need blazers, but the, the catch is what color and what type, what length, right? That's another thing. So there's these little small details that we iron out for our clients on a daily basis that you're just, you don't even need to think about. It's okay, because that's what you have us for. But these are the things that, you know, people don't realize that affect their appearance. It affects the way that they wear their clothes. You know, a lot of women are like, I mean, it's my size, but, you know, I'm uncomfortable. You know, how many of you, it's, you, you could probably sit there and think of something that you worn. It was your size, right? But you just kept moving and you kept saying, oh my gosh, I just... Whew, why do I have to keep fixing it? Why do I got to keep going to the bathroom, checking it and looking and making sure and asking her, girl, am I okay? Am I? Because it's not right. <laughs> the way that it's structured, the garment of the of is not right for you. That's why. That is why. So, you know, I just really wanted to put it, you know, it, it, it's like, just think about it. What haven't you worn all right again that's the, that's the whole topic of the video what have you worn and you know what now guess what it's time to do it's time to clean it's time to clean out them closets again as i mentioned earlier in the video whatever you have not worn in one full year get rid of it you can decide if you want to donate it sell it or whatever the case may be i already told you if it has holes trash it i already told you that if it's something that needs a repair you can decide if you want to repair it and then sell it or donate it or depending on if it's something that you're going to need moving forward then you absolutely do have to, to repair it right so it's time to clean up it's time to get in them closets and clean, honey. We are days away from March. You know what I'm saying? The first day of spring will be here in a month. And it's time. To get, it's a perfect time to get that spring clean and get that stuff cleaned out. Because here's the thing. How many of you can honestly say that your wardrobe is filled with the best clothing for you? I want you to comment to anybody that is watching this, watching this replay. Because again, this ain't live. I want you to comment below and let me know, honestly, if your closet is filled with the best things for you, not your mother, not your daughter, not your coworker, not your boss, not your neighbor. I'm talking about you. You as an individual is your wardrobe. How many of you can say me that my wardrobe is filled with everything that I need? I want you to comment. Because I'm telling you right now, it's time, it is time to stop getting up every day, fussing and fighting and trying to pull together an outfit from clothing that don't even work for you. And you wonder why 
Valencia, I just don't have nothing to wear. You know, I mean, God, I'm going in my closet and I, I just nothing fits and nothing this and I just have I I just have nothing. It's time to cut it, y'all, for real. Because you can't get under it, you can't get over it. You have to spend money on your clothes, period. You have to. Unless you want out the South House naked, but I don't know how that's gonna work for you because you're gonna end up in handcuffs. But <laughs> so you know, you you just have to get there. And once you clean it out, right, once you clean it out, again, don't be intimidated by the lack thereof, because then what you have to do is you have to say to yourself, OK, well, whatever I do have, is this going to work for me? You know what I'm saying? Think about three different scenarios. Earlier in the video, I mentioned, OK, having things to wear to work. Then I mentioned date night. Then I mentioned going to, uh, you know, a company function, because those are really three different things. Think about those things. You know what I'm saying? Okay, do I think about your life? That's why I say lifestyle, right? What do you do? What do you do on a day-to-day -day basis? You know, even your hobbies, do you work out? You know, what do you think about your life, right? And say, okay, hmm, I cleaned out my closet. Now I only have X, Y, and Z. Okay, let me just think. Is this enough? Not enough in the sense of the amount, the accumulation of how many you have of something, but is this really enough for me to be able to wear? Like, is this what I need for me today? We ain't talking about five years ago, 10 years ago, 20 years ago. We are talking about today. Whatever you come up with once you clean that closet out, is it enough for you today? Think about that. I'm going to make you think. I'm going to make you think. And guess what? If it's not, it's okay. Because now what you can begin to do is you can begin to understand what you need. So many people don't like to shop. You know why you don't like to shop? Because you have no idea what you need. That's why. And other people may say it's time. It's just being in the mall, just being aggravated. Trust me, that is really not the root of it. The root of it is that you have no idea what you need. Because every time you think about your clothing, every time you think about the way you dress, you don't like it. <laughs> so you're going to associate that feeling with shopping because you do, you're not getting the result that you want, right? So it's okay to have those wardrobe holes, but now you need to figure out what you need to do. And I'm going to tell you how you can do that. First of all, you need to go to B-I-T dot L-Y slash forward slash the style community and I'm going to put all of this in a caption and you need to download my wardrobe checklist that's what you need to do you need to download this list because this list is going to tell you everything you need in every category that every woman should have between tops bottoms shoes accessories all of that it's going to give you all of that so that way you have a list to be able to compare to, okay, well, I already have this, so let me check that off. Okay, I don't need this, so, I mean, excuse me, I do need this, so let me grab that, right? It's your personalized grocery shopping, aka wardrobe shopping list, right? I did a whole, again, I did a whole video on that, so look at the video prior to this one. So that's, what you, that's the first thing you need to do. If you have cleaned your closet out and determined that you have wardrobe holes based on where you are in your life today, 2018, then you need to download this list, right? Second of all, if you're just saying, well, Valencia, that's not enough for me. You know what I'm saying? I, I really need somebody to hold my hand. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I get frustrated. I get aggravated. I've been trying to do this thing on my own for the past however many years since I can remember I dressed myself and it just does not work for me. I have tried. I have done. I, I need you to hold my hand. I'm here to do that. Go to my website and schedule your full consultation. www.valenciaholland.com dot com click on consultation you are going to fill out the um intake form and we are going to schedule a date to talk and i'm going to help you get your personalized style game plan together because here's the thing some things you just cannot do alone you cannot because you're just not even thinking in that manner. I mentioned earlier about the little minute details, things that you don't even think about with referring to my cowl neck t-shirt and how that accentuates my pear shape. It gets deep. 
even with colors. Black is one of my primary colors. It accentuates my skin tone. It complements my hair and my eyes. All of these things that you're just not even thinking of. And guess what? It's all good. You don't have to think about it because you have me to think about it. And you have me to educate and to teach you and to show you. So again, go to the website, www.valenciaholland.com. Schedule your consultation because I am here to really hold your hand through the process and educate you. That way you could just cut it, right? That way, you know, in six months to a year, you can sit back and say, hmm, what happened I worn? Oh, wait, hold up. No, I've worn it all, honey. I, I don't wore my wardrobe to death, okay? <laughs> like, I've gotten my money worth. I've gotten my ROW. I have gotten my um, return on wear. Because it's time out for all of that. It's time out to stop uh, thinking that we, you know, spending money on clothes is frivolous or uh, it's being materialistic. No, that's not it. Like I said, you you can't go outside naked. You have to make sure that you're investing in your wardrobe. So you know what? I'm going to close it out. Thank you guys for watching this video. Watch it. Share it. Comment. Uh, hit me up. I gave you guys my website. If this is your first time coming on my Facebook page, make sure you like the page so that you can get notifications on when I do go live in the future or when I do share these videos. If you're looking for more tips and tricks like that, you can join my style community. The link is there for you to do that as well. Um, and you can reach out to me. Send me an email if you have a question or anything like that and you have help with Schedule a consultation, you guys. That's what I'm here for. Go to the website, schedule your consultation. Let's talk. Let's stop all this confusion and, and, and not getting any results and how we look and how we dress because it's so important. It affects everything. I don't care what nobody say. You could be having a bad day and, honey, you comb your hair. You just put on that outfit and you just feel like, ooh, like you, you feel like a new person. So there's no way in the world that anybody could try to convince me, not because... You know, this is my business. This is my passion. Like, nobody can't convince me that getting, you know, looking good doesn't make you feel good. There is nobody in the world can convince me of that. So we have to stop playing it so small and, and, and looking at it as such a minute thing to how we dress in ourselves. We, we just, we can't do that no more. For real. And you know what? We're mothers. We're wives. We're uh, business owners. You know, we're we're uh, CEOs. You know what I'm saying? We, we are... Uh, on these jobs, we want to look good. It's, you want to feel good. You want to be a representation of yourself first and foremost, but you're also a representation of those around you. Come on. Come on. We got to keep our look good. We got to keep ourselves up. You know what I'm saying? Especially after you have kids, after you be married, after, you know what I'm saying? That's the, you, or be in relationship, whatever it is. You deserve it. You deserve to look good and feel good about yourself all the time, every day of the week. Not just on your wedding day. Not just on Valentine's Day. Not just on your birthday. Not just because you're going out with the girls. You should be able to look good every day. Why not? Who said that you can't look good every day? Who said it? Who said it? So... If you're on IG, make sure you connect with me there. The handle is The Style Educator. If IG is your thing, if Facebook's your thing, make sure you stay connected with me here. If LinkedIn is your thing, you can connect with me over there as well, Valencia Holland. However you want to stay connected to me, just find a way to stay connected to me, okay? So you guys enjoy your day, your night, your evening, your morning, wherever you are. And, you know, I'll be back with another video soon.